Death is the most certain aspect of life. According to statistics, 6,200 people die in the world every single hour. 6,200 people die in the world every single hour. This is happening around us. We hear of it. We see it. We wash it. We shroud it. We clothe it. We perfume it. We carry it. And thus we bury it. Yet it is amazing that we believe that it's not going to happen to us. At least not soon. And wallahi brothers and sisters, this is the work of Satan. This is the work of the devil. This is one of his arrows that he is firing at you day after day. He wants you to procrastinate. He wants you to be forgetful, hateful. Why? So you will not prepare yourself for that mighty day. So you will not prepare yourself for that day when you enter the grave. A moving story of a man called Bahlul. Of a man called Bahlul. A man who was on the opposite side, we can say, of worldly smartness. In other words, he was simple in his comprehension, in his intellect, in his understanding. It was hard for him to understand things. A Khalifa by the name of Harun Rashid gave Bahlul a stick. He said, this stick, Ya Bahlul, belongs to the most foolish man on the face of this world. If you find any person more deserving of this stick than yourself, pass it on to him. And Bahlul being Bahlul, took the stick. Several years later, <coughs> Harun Rashid the Khalifa became extremely ill and no medical treatment seemed to work. Bahlul came to visit Harun to inquire about his health. The conversation took as follows. Harun said to Bahlul, no treatment seems to work. I see my journey ahead of me at any second. Bahlul asked, where are you going? You know, he's a bit on the opposite side of worldly smartness. Where are you going? Bahlul, I'm going to the other world. To the other world? How long are you going to go for? When will you come back? He asked. Bahlul, no one ever comes back from the other world, he, asked, he said. Bahlul said, then you have, then you must have made special preparations for this great journey, this eternal journey. Have you sent troops and army to await for your arrival, to prepare for your arrival once you get there? Bahlul, he said, no one goes with you. And now I have not made preparations. Bahlul said, we should be written in gold. Even though he's against or opposite the world, this smart. He said a word or a comment that should be written in gold. He said, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, O leader of the faithful. You used to send troops to make extensive preparations for a trip that will last one or two days. One or two days. You will send troops. Thus they will make preparations, the most extensive preparations. And now you are going to a place where you will live forever. You will never come back. It is eternal, everlasting. And you have not made preparations for it. He goes, here's the stick. Now I have found the man who is more deserving of it. Allahu Akbar. Bahlu became Smart lul. Became smart lul. And not opposite 
Huh? To all the smartness, he became the smartest with this comment. Wallahi. This is our situation. Every day, every night, we do not prepare for death. This is a story that you don't just hear and you forget. No, it is a story that you reflect, you ponder, you contemplate upon. You apply it in your life. Because Bahlul said a comment, a statement, Wallahi, that should be written in gold. You are going to a journey that you will never come back from. And you have not prepared for it.